Hey guys, Tyler here with the Kingdoms Trading Card Game. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are someone that wants to make a trading card game, or you already have and you just kind of find yourself in this weird spot of like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this, I don't know if I can keep going, or I just don't enjoy it anymore, then this video might be for you. There's a lot of videos out there that tell you how to make your own trading card game, and there's a lot of videos out there that tell you tips and tricks of how to make your own trading card game, and those are both videos that I do want to do in the future because I think that I have some stuff that I could offer that maybe no one else has brought up. What I do want to talk about in this video though is the mindset that you should have when you're making your trading card game because in the four, five, six year, I don't know how long I've been working on this, I'll have to look back. Um, there's been different mental things I've had to go through while working on this game to get where I am today and just being okay with what I've made and enjoying what I have made. Um, and that's especially happened as I have gotten married, as I've you know got had different jobs, as, as I've, got, I've turned 26 and I have to pay for my own insurance, I have a dog, I have my own house with my wife. Like, I'm adulting, you know, hashtag whatever. You get what I'm saying? I, I have went through this life so far and I have seen a couple things that maybe my thinking wasn't correct in making a card game. All that to say, I wanna share four things with you guys that might be helpful for you as you are making your game or you are thinking about making a game. The first thing is be patient. You're gonna have this idea that comes to your mind, you're gonna be sleeping and have a dream, you're gonna be at school, you know, super bored, and this idea is gonna come to you of a game that you wanna make, and you're gonna be so stoked and excited, you're gonna come home, or you're gonna get up out of bed, or you're gonna do whatever, and you're gonna start drawing pictures, writing down ideas, and you're gonna be so excited, like, I gotta get this out, I gotta get this out, and because you aren't able to get it done as fast as you can, uh, or as fast as you want, you lose interest, you you get you lose motivation, you become disheartened because it hasn't come out as fast as you were hoping to. And so the first thing that you need to do is be patient. I worked on Kingdoms for about a year or two before anything officially happened. And even then, we had gotten 12 to 14 people together to play the game and we redid everything because we didn't like how the cards looked or, or, or some of the stats were messed up. We were just rushing it a little bit. Um, and so you gotta be Patient. You're going to have a lot of ideas. You're going to have a lot of things that you need to, you have to work out the kinks or the mechanics of your game. So just be patient and enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy the time that you are spending on it and seeing as it develops. And that's why it's great to, you know, keep track of, you know, your pictures and your notes. Keep them all together so you can see how the game has changed as you've been working on it. Be patient, there's a lot of time that you have to work on it. It's not gonna kill you if you don't finish your game in one week or if you don't post a video to YouTube showing people your new game in one week. It's gonna be okay, just be patient. The second thing that I wanna say is have fun. Uh, it's been easy for me to work on kingdoms and dread it because uh, it got to a point where I was like, I have to make this happen in order to put a video up on YouTube or just because of personal goals that I had, and I was losing the enjoyment in it. And so the, the big thing is just make sure you're having fun with your game. Don't forget the original reason why you made your game. It's because you have a creative mind and you had this idea come to life in your head and you had to put it to paper and, and you wanted to show it in some type of game. And don't forget that, enjoy it, have fun with what you're doing. When you think of an artwork, appreciate what you're drawing. When you think of some rules or you're trying to work out the kinks, enjoy that process because you know, all that work you're putting into it is to give you something to enjoy yourself and enjoy with your friends and maybe some family members if they wanna play that game as well. So secondly, make sure you're having fun. Thirdly, don't get jealous. It is easy, especially when you are active on YouTube, whether you're posting videos or you have never posted a video but you at home have made your own game and you see these other people who have YouTube channels that have made their own card game, it's easy to get jealous. Oh, look how many subscribers they have. Look how many comments they have. Look at how many things they've sold on the Game Crafter. Don't be jealous. The thing that I really like about the people that have a large number of subscribers in this homemade trading card, trading card game community or even on smaller channels, even channels like mine that don't have a lot of subscribers, you have other trading card game creators that comment on each other's videos, that support each other, 
occasionally buy each other's booster packs just to, just to support them and get them out there. And so don't get jealous. You know, the whole reason why you maybe are posting videos of your game or you're sharing your game on Discord servers and stuff is just because you have something that you created and you want to share it with people. And the thing is, is you should, you should be stoked or ecstatic that even one person thought what you made was really cool. And really at the end of the day, if you're happy with it, that's really all that matters. And if no one wants to play your game, if you love your game, that is the best part right there. And lastly, I want to say focus on the community aspect. I was trying to think of like a cool way to put this, you know, community versus company or whatever. That This has been the biggest issue for me. Um, I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but I do see flaws in how I have made the game and, and how it maybe isn't professional looking or how I haven't went about it in a professional manner. And because of that, it has caused me to be pretty controlling over the game, to, to not let certain things happen or for artwork to look a certain way or certain cards to be created a certain way. And the list goes on and on and on. Or I've had to redo cards because I wasn't pleased with how they looked or redid the logo. and and because of that, it, it kind of took away from the enjoyment or the community aspect of the game, which this is just a trading card game that I have made, but to have fun with other people to get together and just play a card game, to be nerds, to, to just enjoy life. And so when you get so focused on, I, I want to sell this on the Game Crafter, I want to get big and make money, if that happens, that's great. But... I think you're going to be much more well off that if your card game for some reason gets big, blows up, and you start making millions of dollars, if that whole process you go through it focused on community and using your game as a way to connect with other people, then you'll be much better off than the person that is worrying about only having 100 subscribers like me and you're like you're trying to think about how to grow your game, how to start selling stuff. The more you start thinking about that, the less you're going to enjoy your game and it's gonna ruin the fun that you can have in it and it kind of impacts those other things that I've talked about. You won't be patient anymore, you won't have fun with it anymore, and you'll start to get jealous. So that's not saying that you think, if you think you have a game that you think you can push and make money with and, and grow with, go for it. Just don't forget about the community aspect that a game creates and, and getting people together to play a game. So that's it, I hope this helps uh, some of you that are maybe thinking about making a card game or have already been making a card game. These are, set, these are uh, like I said, some things that have crossed my mind uh, over the last little while as I've tried to get back into it and just trying to reshift my focus um, and just getting back into enjoying the card game that I made starting a long time ago. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel, comment below any thoughts that you have, and also maybe some tips that you have uh, for making your own card game that you can share with other people. Anything that I want you to know about will be in the description box below. And I guess with that, until next time, thank you.